In this quick tutorial, I will be taking you through how you can navigate through Google Classroom as a student. The first thing you need to do is visit classroom.google.com. Next, click on the plus sign that is located on the top right corner. Click on Join Class. Make sure that you are signed into your school Gmail account and enter the code that was given to you by your teacher. Right away, you will notice that you are now enrolled in your teacher's class. As you can see, the Google Classroom page has several sections. The main menu contains other classes that you might be enrolled in. You can also access the settings from this menu. If you would like to turn on or off notifications related to Google Classroom, click on Settings. Once you are in Settings, you can make adjustments to how you would like to receive notifications and what you would like to receive notifications for. The stream is where you can find announcements from your teacher. You may be able to comment and post your own announcements if your teacher has enabled you to do so. You will also find upcoming deadlines right here. And if you click on view all, you will also be able to see past deadlines. The people section is where you can find your teacher and your classmates Gmails. So let's say you had a question to ask your teacher. All you would need to do is click on this envelope icon. If other students were enrolled in this class, you will also find the same option for them. The classwork tab is where all the magic happens. This is where you can view your work, any assignments or materials that your teacher has posted, your turn in status, your due dates, and all the grades for your class. You can also visit your Google Calendar for any upcoming assignment deadlines. The class drive folder is where you can find all the resources and assignments relating to the class. It will also include all the assignment submissions that you might have added. The best way to navigate through assignments and materials is through the topics feature on the left hand side. Your teacher might organize the assignments and materials added to the Google Classroom by topic. This way you can navigate through these materials and assignments by clicking on the related topic. For example, if we click on topic 1, you will notice that the teacher posted materials and an assignment. The material might be a resource, such as a Google slide, a video, etc. The assignment will include a due date. Pay extra attention to those. Down here, you will find the total number of points that the assignment is worth. Let's look at another example of an assignment. As you can see, this assignment also has the topic the due date, and the total number of points. You will also notice that this particular assignment has a rubric. If your teacher chooses to add a rubric to the assignment, you can usually find it at the bottom down here. In order to submit an assignment, there are two ways that you can do this. You can either use the resource that your teacher already posted and make changes to this document, or you can create a new document. In order to create a new document, click on Add or Create and create a new doc, slide, sheet, or drawing. This will depend on your teacher's instructions. In order to attach a file that you've already created and is present in your Google Drive, click on Add and then go to Google Drive. Locate the file that you are trying to attach, for example, this one, and then click on Insert. When you are finished, click on Turn In. If the file that you are trying to attach is found on your computer, you will click on the file icon. If you are trying to attach a link, click on the link icon. For this example, I'm going to be creating a new document. And this is where I will be answering the assignment questions. Once I am done completing my assignment and it's time to turn it in, I will click on Turn In. If the instructions don't ask you to attach anything, then all you have to do is mark as done. After clicking on mark as done, you will notice that the status will change and it says here that I turned my assignment, but I did turn it in late. If your teacher posts a question such as this one, you will go ahead and click on view question. In order to answer the question, type your answer on the right hand side in the box provided. If you would like to add any additional information that only your teacher can see, you can always do that in the private comments section. 
If you would like to add a comment that your entire class will be able to see, you can do that in the class comments section. When you are done writing your class comment, click on post. Now, if other students posted class comments, you will be able to reply to them. This is a great way to engage in a discussion or to give and receive feedback. Again, make sure you are following your teacher's instructions. When you are confident with your answer and you are ready to turn it in, click on turn in. Now keep in mind, depending on the settings chosen by your teacher, you might not be able to edit your answer. So make sure that the answer you have chosen is your final answer. In order to see your classmates' answers for this particular question, click on See Classmate Answers. You will not be able to view your classmates' answers before you have answered yourself. In order to check for any missing assignments, click the Classwork tab and then select View Your Work. This will show you all the assignments that your teacher has posted. It will also show you assignments that are missing. So for example, I'm currently missing assignment number one and it's actually past the due date. In order for me to submit my late assignment, I'm going to go ahead and click on assignment number one and then view details. Now, let's say that you have an assignment and your teacher has provided feedback for your first submission. You have the option to unsubmit your work, make changes to the work that you have added to this assignment, and resubmit it. So, if your teacher asks you to add something new to your original submission, you can unsubmit add or create a new document or, de or edit the existing document that you have attached here. Once you've made these, these changes, you can turn it back in. Now make sure that if your assignment has a due date, you are making all these changes before the due date has arrived. If you would like to see a checklist of upcoming assignments that you might have in all of your classes or all of your subjects, click on the main menu button and then click on to do. This will give you a list of all assignments that have been assigned by your teachers across every subject you are enrolled in. So here's a quick study tip. If you're trying to study for a specific assessment and you know that this assessment is on a particular topic or even topics, you can uh, sift through all the resources, assignments and materials that you, that you have on your Google Classroom page very easily by using the topics navigation bar here. Okay, so let's say that you have a test on topic one and two. You can quickly navigate all the assignments and resources that you might have for topic one by simply clicking on topic one, and then you would do the same for topic two. So this way you are not going through uh, your stream and kind of scrolling and trying to find um, the specific assignment or the specific material or resource that you're looking for but rather all you have to do is click on classwork and then click on the specific topic that you want the material for. Your teacher might also have topics such as this one, uh, classroom materials, and this is where you will find any resources such as the syllabus, classroom rules, expectations, and any other miscellaneous resources that are not really topic specific. 